Like the Iron Maiden?
then finally, uh, with any contraband, yes. typically fine, is bale of, mar uh, bales of marijuana in bulk uh, or in cocaine. At least five kilos of cocaine, uh, courtesy of uh, DEA. Uh, and right here, upwards of over a billion dollars worth of money. Just a sample. Yeah, 
right there. Okay, sure. He's in. I can't say you can't even see him. Mm -hmm. Diana, send Mike. Yeah. We are the So there's a great division among conservatives. Does that bother you? That way behind Terry. Seriously, sir, you're cheap. Hey, guys, let's move back, sir. Mike, please. 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 Right, go. We're going to go on, on out the front. It's not going to be in the air. Oh, it went out of your frame? Yeah, it, it was too close. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say that's the hey, soul. Hey, as long as CNN uh, didn't get it, my office will never yeah. know it happened. <laughs> <laughs> the United States Coast Guard, Admiral Paul A. Yost.
President of the United States. Commencement exercises at the United States Coast Guard Academy are now convened. Will the audience please remain standing until the completion of the invocation? Give to these new ensigns the wisdom to appreciate the contributions of both faculty and staff to their spiritual mental and physical development and grant Thank you, Admiral Caroni. Thank you, Secretary Burnley, Admiral Yost, Senator <laughs> The fact is, many young people have trouble choosing their life's work. I was an exception. I know. Now, I don't imagine that any of you wrote anything like that inside of your copy of Tide Reds. You know. During World War II, one general said that America's secret weapon, and we give them a very loud salute. Since your service was founded, the first Coast Guard casualty of World War II came the day after Pearl Harbor, when a transport evacuating American families out of Singapore came under attack. Back when Washington bureaucrats were not as sophisticated or numerous as they are today, we named things more nearly for what they were. One of my favorite examples is that one of the predecessors of today's Coast Guard, well, the Coast Guard, then three Coast Guard helicopters came to the rescue. Their fuel was low. There was each of the 37 people on board. It was one of the most dramatic rescues in Coast Guard history and a heroic demonstration of what we mean when we say the Coast Guard is an armed service and more. Today, one of the Coast Guard's most important missions is to fight the importation of illegal English, your vital mission. Well, that is one thing, it's not the only thing that all of us as a nation must do. But before I talk about what we 6,000 pounds of cocaine, 26,000 pounds of a drug that has a street value of thousand dollars an ounce. Don't try to figure that out in your head. It's $416 million. And by keeping deadly drugs from reaching our communities, 
I think the Coast Guard earned yet another good reason to be known as the life-saving service. Another key part of the war on drugs has been the appointment of the denied, but prison sentences are 40% longer. And last year, new, tougher sentencing guidelines were, and I'm asking for another 13% increase. That would give the federal government a total of $3.9 billion next fiscal year to fight this menace. All told, it's an extraordinary... And unite us one people, one government, one nation. We've done this before, we must do it now. Illegal drug use is the foremost concern in our country. And frankly, as I finish my final year in office, it will be a report to me in the bipartisan leadership of Congress laying out our proposals. I'd like to take a minute to spell out some specific items that need to be considered. Punished. Protection. And we should consider allowing our governors greater use of the National Guard in this effort. But one thing must be clear. And with respect to bilateral exchanges, I especially want to encourage more student exchanges between our two countries. I hope that more Soviet young people can view firsthand America's democratic system and way of life. Just the other day, I met with 70-some students, 38 Americans and 38 Soviet students, who have held a conference in Helsinki, in Moscow, and are now here in the United States holding one. We could get to know each other. There'd never be another war. Well, and carry in your hearts the values that are the source of our liberty and our spiritual strength. This is reflected in the path of the service that you've chosen. We're a nation of free men and women, who use our God-given liberty to serve our country because we love her and all that she represents. It's our earnest prayer to serve America in peace. It is our solemn. I salute you. Gary Clayton Armstrong, Jr. Alan Norvik Arsenal. His commission will be presented by his grandfather, Captain Lev Norvik, U.S. Navy, retired. Scott Vernon Austin, graduating with honors. Egders Ivers Ozenbergs. Joseph Edward Balder. His commission will be presented by his father, Major Jerome F. Balder, U.S. Army, retired. Stephen Allen Banks. Kirk Anthony Bartnick. Brad Michael Belanger, graduating with high honors. Kathleen Josephine Bogan. James 
Michael Baus. Basil Francis Brown. Scott Anthony Butka. Sean Michael Burke. Charles Samuel Camp. James Dennis Carlson. Coast Guard retired. Jeffrey J. McSpadden. Christopher James Meade, graduating with honors. His commission will be presented by his father, Commander James F. Meade, U.S. Coast Guard, retired. William Roman Meese. Stephen Charles Melanson. Timothy Edward Myers. His commission will be presented by his father, Major Edward M. Myers, U.S. Army, retired. Jan Miller. Graduating with honors. Jess Carl Moore. John Francis Moriarty. Graduating with honors. Philip Lee Morris. Leonard Christopher Murphy. His commission will be presented by his brother, Lieutenant Junior Gray, John C. Murphy, U.S. Coast Guard. Cameron Troy Naren. Kevin Wellesley Nelson. Thomas Gerard Nelson. James Matthew Nushwander. Christopher Daniel Nichols, graduating with honors. Mary Esther Nicosia. Kurt Crampton O'Brien. Matthew James O'Connor.
to God and his people. When you see injustice, do not tolerate it. When you see chaos, lend a helping hand. When you see... Ensigns, divest yourselves of all symbols of cadet life. <laughs> Thank you.